Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Intel Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. And you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Maniac. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. Mumps is a viral infection of the salivary glands, primarily involving the parotid gland, hence given the name epidemic parotitis. The infection is caused by a single-stranded RNA virus in the family Paramaxoviridae. Over the viral envelope, the virus has two glycoproteins, namely the NH or neuraminidase and hemagglutinin protein responsible for attachment of viral cell to a host cell and the F or fusion proteins, which are responsible for fusion of viral and the host cell membranes, hence allowing entrance of the viral RNA into the host cell resulting in multiplication of viral cells within host cells. Humans are the only natural host of the mumps virus. The virus is primarily transmitted by respiratory secretions such as respiratory droplets and saliva as well as via direct contact with an infected person. Transmission can occur from one week before the onset of symptoms to eight days after the symptoms have appeared. During infection, the virus first infects the upper respiratory tract from there, it spreads to the salivary glands and lymph nodes. Infection of the lymph nodes lead to presence of the virus in blood, which spreads the virus throughout the body. Mumps infection is usually self-limiting, which means that the disease comes to an end after the immune system clears the infection. Now coming to the clinical features, about 30% of mumps infections are subclinical which means that no signs and symptoms can be observed. The disease occurs more commonly in children and young adults. The prodromal symptoms in symptomatic cases are low-grade fever, headache, malaise, anorexia, followed within one day by significant salivary gland changes having a preference for the parotid gland. The enlargement and pain within the parotid gland peak within 2-3 to three days. The intensity of the pain increases with chewing movements or eating saliva-stimulating foods. In majority of patients, unilateral involvement of the parotid gland is common. The second most common finding is epididymoarchitis, or enlargement of the testicles, which occurs in about 25% of post-pubertal males. In post-pubertal females, oophoritis or inflammation of ovary and mastitis or inflammation of breast tissue can be seen. Less common clinical presentations caused by mumps virus include meningoencephalitis, cerebellar ataxia, hearing loss resulting from involvement of the middle ear, pancreatitis, arthritis, carditis and decreased renal function. All of these less common clinical presentations in non-epidemic settings makes the diagnosis difficult. The diagnosis of mumps in an epidemic setting can be easily made with the clinical presentation of the disease. However, isolated cases often require laboratory confirmation by mumps-specific IgM or mumps-specific IgG antibodies. In addition, a swab of secretions obtained from the parotid or other affected salivary gland ducts can be used for viral culture. There are no effective antiviral drugs for mumps. That's why treatment of mumps is palliative. Non-aspirin analgesics and antipyretics can help reduce the symptoms. Sour foods and drinks should be avoided to help reduce salivary flow. Mumps epidemiology has been dramatically decreased over the years by vaccination. The vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine which means that it's a weakened mumps virus that is not infectious but stimulates the immune system for prevention from mumps virus in the future. The vaccine is administered between 12 to 15 months of age. I hope you like this video. Please do give a thumbs up and share the video ahead with your friends. For upcoming videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notifications each time a video is uploaded. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.